Okay, we're working with Bo this morning and I'm, I am noticing some confusion when we're training. So he's, um, you know, having a hard time following through on commands consistently. That's where we are in his training process. He's only been here, what, this is what day uh, 10, I think, 11. Uh, so, and this will happen during training. Tra the dog will like be progressing, you know, really well. And then there will be a setback of some sorts not really a setback, just we kind of go backwards a little bit and we have to learn to read that and see, it. hey, is the, dog, is the dog being defiant or is he just not understanding or he's confused? So right now we're in that state right now. He's not being defiant. He's just uh, a little bit confused because we're working now, we're putting him in different settings. See the setting right here? Nope, down. Um, this is a much bigger room. We're working from room to room. Imagine if it was in your house, okay? Because that's what it's going to be like in your house. You go from room to room with your dog. Wherever you go, you bring your dog with you. Um, and that way he stays out of trouble. You're supervising him that way. Um, and this is also, he's on a, a different kind of pet cot. It's higher. It makes a little more noise because there's a heavy duty vinyl and the plastic makes a noise. The plastic legs when he gets on it and he, you know like i said he's a little insecure nope uh and he right now he's anticipating he's like what are we doing plus he's distracted by the outdoors i have the door open on purpose because we're adding in those distractions Bo down let's see how his down command is down it's suspect i'll tell you the truth sometimes it's good sometimes it's not He's also looking outside, so he's like, hmm, I'd rather be out there. Down. I'm gonna wait him out so you can see what I'm having to do here so you can have an idea of where he is in his training for when you come in for your first lesson. Bo, down. I'm gonna give him a little guidance here, down. Okay, but note, see, did you notice how I had to help him with my hand? But I did not pet him. He's always looking for pets when you get up close. Uh-uh, no. I'm gonna get him back on place. Um, so be careful when you are working with him and you're trying to work him through something, it's important that you be patient, but also you're not gonna give him affection and oh, he's such a good boy, la la la, that kind of thing. If he does the down, it's like, just be matter of fact. Good. Okay, that's something every owner needs to work on because we tend to be over effusive when we're talking to our dogs and that just makes things more confusing for the dog. Um, I'm not gonna worry so much that he's not doing down right now, but I don't want him to follow me, which is another thing that he will do because he's anticipating and he also wants to be wherever I am. And he's gonna wanna do the same thing with you. So I'm walking away. I'm gonna tell him, stay. Okay, and I'm gonna, no, I just said no. No. Stay. Notice how I used my voice there to be a little more firm with him so he gets it. Bo, come. Place. Place. So you can just see where he is right now, he's just, you know, come, Bo. Place. For as smart as he is, uh, you know, he definitely just is, is taking some time to learn these things, okay? So um, that's what we're up to today. You, we will be doing a lot of this very similar work, recall to place, so that you can get a lot of reps and you can learn how to use the e-collar and we are transferring those skills from me to you, okay? Because Bo's only worked for a few people, okay? And, and we're all dog people. I'm the trainer, but there's also people who, you know, uh, run the daycare and things like that. And they're also dog people. So we know how to talk to dogs. We got the little over here having a little, uh-oh, it's a little battle over the chew toy. <laughs> so that's what we're up to, okay? Nope, place. See how he won't stay on? Come on, place. Stay.